يا رمضان سلام مرحب شعب المسلمين رحب منتظر بالترحب سنة زيادة من العب حافظينا جاكرينا قالتينا خاشعين يا رمضان سلام مرحب شعب المسلمين رحب منتظر Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Atibian channel. My name is Tijani Nazifa. How do we Muslims persevere and what do we do in difficult times? Today, I'll be talking about an important topic, light at the end of the tunnel. And I'll be sharing Quranic verses and stories on this topic, light at the end of the tunnel. The phrase light at the end of the tunnel is used to describe that there is hope in the midst of darkness and uncertainty. Islam has made us believe that there is hope and light in the midst of darkness. No matter how difficult a situation may seem, there is always a possibility for a brighter future. Allah says in Surah Al Baqarah, verse 286, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allah does not burden a soul beyond its capacity. If someone is in a state of difficulty or hardship, Allah will give the person the power to be able to endure the pain, the strength to be able to overcome these difficulties. And indeed, a true, the strength of a true Muslim is one who remembers Allah in difficult times. Islam, in Islamic teachings, the phrase light at the end of the tunnel is closely related to two topics, tawakkul and sabr. I'll start with sabr. Sabr means patient. Allah said in Quran 8, Verse 46. In Allah Indeed, Allah is with the most patient. Patience is one of the virtues in Islam and it is greatly rewarded. Patience is greatly rewarded because indeed, verily, with every hardship there is ease. Allah reminds us in Surah Al Inshira, verse 5 to 8. Indeed, with every hardship there is ease. This verse teaches us to move closer to Allah. Submit to us to Allah, ask for forgiveness from Allah, ask for mercy from Allah, and Allah will always be with you. When you take this, when you strive to always ask for guidance and help from only Allah alone, Allah will give you the strength to be able to bear the pain in time of hardship. Tawakul means trust in Allah. We, Islam teaches us that we should always place our trust in Allah's wisdom and mercy during difficult times. Everything has been ordained by Allah and everything happens for a reason. That is what Allah said in the Quran. It, perhaps it may be that you love a thing which might not be good for you. And it may be that you hate a thing which might be good for you. Allah, only Allah knows. Man does not know. Allah even said in the Quran, Why are we Muslims on earth? Allah created human beings and jinns just for them to worship him alone. That is the sole purpose why human beings are on, are on this earth. This life is very short. And this life is even a test to us. Don't even the good and the bad times is a test to us. Allah has said it in the Quran. Everything, you will be tested with everything. Loss of lives, loss of hunger, loss of lives, wealth and health. You will be tested with everything in this life. Life is a test to mankind. And Allah loves us. These tests are not just to punish us. They are, to, they are just to test us. They are just to test our faith. Now, I will tell you a story about Prophet Ayub. Prophet Ayub is one of the prophets of Allah. He's one of the most beloved prophets of Allah. And his story teaches us to be patient. And his story teaches us to always have faith in Allah. Prophet Ayub was tested for a lot of things. Allah tested him with a lot of calamities, loss of wealth, loss of children, and even his health. But when Prophet Ayub was in this time of hardship and difficulty, he never for once left the path of Allah. Every day he was praying to Allah, asking for forgiveness from Allah. He was steadfast. He had faith in Allah. And Allah restored his wealth, his health, and also his family. So we should learn from the story of Prophet Ayub. We should trust in Allah. Allah is the best of planner. Anything Allah does, that's what is best for us. We should only put our trust in Allah. We should move closer to him. Do not associate any partner with Allah. We should only ask for help and guidance from Allah. Because Allah knows what is best for us. And that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you guys have learnt one or two from this video. Light at the end of the tunnel. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to share, follow, like and comment. See you soon. Assalamu alaikum. حافظينا 
شاكرين قاردين خاشعين يا رمضان سلام مرحب شعب المسلمين رحب منتظرين